welcome all once again for those who are watching and maybe joining and this gathering and for anyone who may be watching this in the future I welcome everyone to the beginning of this gathering and hello C PJ this is a gathering for peace, love, and compassion. It's sacred. Allowed to be sacred. If it's sacred, then it's honest, it's truth. It's sincere, it's authentic. It's good, it's beautiful. It's loving, it's kind, caring. Sacred space for peace, love, and compassion, and also to help alleviate any suffering, assist in that, also to provide any wisdom for personal questions, inquiries about wisdom, life, spirit. Self-identification, mind, suffering, those themes that are available to us always. I'm grateful for every one, everything. Gratitude goes a very, very long way. I'm grateful for everyone that has contributed to the awareness and the shift that is taking place. It seems as though there is a collective consciousness that is becoming deepening, a deepening awareness of the collective collective consciousness and for those who are bringing their peace and their love and their compassion into this world I say thank you I say thank you and I welcome Chris to this gathering and get sacred gathering of peace love and compassion uh, <clears throat> spent the last couple of days in the presence of quite a number of larger gatherings outside of Facebook. Feel very energized, feel tremendously inspired and breathing in. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm very inspired, breathing in <laughs> a couple evenings of, I'd say, a total of, a total of about 500, 600 people at the two different events, and that has reignited the inspiration in order to continue bringing awareness to compassion. And I welcome Ron to this gathering. Hello. And within these gatherings, they were, what the first one was, both of them were two hours. So within the last 48 hours, there's been a renewal of some sort, although From the infinite emptiness, there, you could say if there's a renewal or not. Um, that 
being said, this is a gathering. This is a gathering in and of itself. An energized gathering blossoming from the infinite energy of peace, love, and compassion. That infinite awareness of which is ever-present, all-pervading, which means that if it is all-pervading, then it is accessible within what can be called the here and the now. Because everything always happens here. The awareness that is here, the consciousness that is here to recognize that whatever experience is happening or whatever thought, image, sensation, feeling, word, deed, Supernova is happening now. Where is it happening? It's happening here. The memories happened in here. The memory is a remembrance of something that happened within the here. The same with now. The memory is the remembrance of something that happened within the now, rather than the mind wanting to enter in time and make it linear. It's a simultaneous and spontaneous event, single event. The universe is a single event, <laughs> rather than an invention, it's an event, one single unified event happening at once. Happening at once. Happening at once. Knowing that changes the paradigm shift in how we treat one another because the sep that entering into time causes us to separate within ourselves into parts. When we are infants, we are one. As we get older, we take on different roles. A student initially, or son and daughter initially, then student, and boyfriend, girlfriend, then middle school student, high school student, college student, and then wife, husband, and then whatever job you get, you take on that role. You have a resume of life and you're and there's a split the separation of the psyche into all these different personalities and thus all these roles take place when an infant has one role cry <laughs> or there, there aren't several roles to an infant there isn't a male female role to an, an infant although they may know that there's uh, Intuitively, an infant may know that he is a he and she is a she. And then the recognition and the teaching of hatred because of, or differences because of skin color, and oftentimes hatred because of skin color and culture tend to come in for certain individuals. And that's another identification of the mind that's an illusion all is one which means human beings themselves are also one and because of that there is the notion that we are 
there are parts of ourselves when in fact uh, it's all unified and everything is unified. Knowing that it changes the paradigm of what the person is when you consider that there are no persons. The person is an illusion. There is an interwoven interbeing between all things. Life itself is without personhood. If you were to ask the planet, what's a person? Would the planet actually know what a person is? It only knows life. It only knows life. The sun only knows how to shine and how to be a star. The nature of being human in beingness is peace and love. Each form has a, a nature to it as, a, as its process. It grows into its own beingness. There's a nature of beingness in the life of a tree. There's a nature of beingness in the life of an animal. There is a nature of a beingness to this planet. And that beingness is harmonious in all things that are alive, that have substance and function and form. And even some of the, one can go to some of the subtle forms and ask, what is the nature of the mind? The mind is there to serve life, to serve survival, and to serve the heart, ultimately. If the mind were simply there to serve the mind, it remains self-destructive and it remains suffering because the mind is limited. It must therefore bow to that which it, that which it contains, or that which contains it. It must be subject to that rather than the greater being subject to the lesser. The planet follows the sun. The sun doesn't follow the planet. Although the sun has a, something that it's following as well. And some, now know, some now say that the even the galaxy, along with two other galaxies, are following a... Um, the great attractor, which is on the other side of the Milky Way and is, can't be visible. It's hard to see because of the light of the Milky Way. It, we know, or the scientists that know that there's something moving our galaxy towards it. We as human beings who have constructed this universe um, aware of what that is exactly. Again, always reinforcing that this space is for peace, love, and compassion. And those things are very easy to offer love, peace, and compassion. And to alleviate suffering, because the suffering is an illusion of the mind when the mind is the focal point of one's life. It's close, seemingly friend, apparent friend, is the mind, mind and suffering are, are friends. The mind feeds off of suffering. 
unnecessary suffering. There will be pain in life. Some of it may be rooted, yet when it, when it leaves those crevices, when the light shines into those crevices and the spooky and the wicked come out, it's shown into the light. It's, it's the suffering vampire afraid of the sun. Our suffering is very similar to vampires. They, one, they have to be invited in. <laughs> Two, they, sunlight, no sunlight. Three, to get, the, to get rid of them, you got to drive a stake into them. And Four, they, they suck your blood. <laughs> they suck your life force. <laughs> they make you pale. They they want their intention is to spread. <laughs> Suffering wants to spread itself. Perhaps that's why there is even the myth of vampires. And they want to leave you in a lot that they want your life span, your life to, your life span to be long. So that it can survive. And once you shine enough light on a vampire, and the vampire shivels, <laughs> turns into ashes, as some of the movies portray, and it shrivels up, and it's gone. The vampire is no more. Be love. Be the love that you are. Abide in the inner peace. Spread compassion. Bring a, bring a love into this life that is so great that whenever and whenever you can, love. Simply love unconditionally. Because that's all that, in the end, that's all that is worth doing. Pa past the fear, past the hatred, past the animosity, past the resentment, past this. Past the wars. Stop the war within and the mind stops the war. The war here. This is love. This is fear. This is unconditional love. This is where, not the mind, brain, or this is just a symbol of the mind, a symbolic representation, as is the body, a symbolic representation. The words are a symbolic representation that point to that deeper sense of simply being in this moment in the presence of the peace that is inherent in all things and reflecting that into every single thought, word, and deed such that the light is so strong that it and resonates so brightly at a frequency so high that there's nothing that can bring it down, no fear that can bring it down, no words that can bring it down. Because no words can bring it down. That which is greater that than the lesser is that which is unchanging. This 
is a message of the mystics. This is a message of the masters. This is a message of the sages. This is a message of the saints. To love unconditionally. And it's experiential. Without doubt, without fear, one can love unconditionally. And it's easy. It is easy. Because it's given, it's a tool that's already given. It is here in the heart. It is known. It is beautiful. It is tremendous. It is loving. Grand. Abide in it. Abide in peace. Abide in love. The love that goes without speculation, without discernment, without even needing to discern. Even the discernment drops away. Even patience drops away. Because there's nothing to wait for. <laughs> All you need to do is love unconditionally. And why wait to do that? Why wait to be at peace? Why... Give anything that time can take. Why let time take those things away? Why let time take away compassion? Why? No reason. <laughs> it's the ego that wants to enter time to take those things away that are already inherently there now. Because once that paradigm shifts, and the, elite, the illusion of ego is discovered, and then the war stops. And oftentimes people wonder, well then what? What next? <laughs> they're, they're living without the what next. And knowing that this being, this now, and this here, are the access points for everything that is needed. Every It is the access point. Where else is the access point going to be other than here and now? What other circumstances other than this here and this now that is present, providing the energy of infinite awareness, the energy of infinite love, what more or less can satisfy this moment? This, what more or less can you add to infinity? It's a child's game where it's infinity plus one, infinity plus infinity. There's only one infinity. And that infinity is here now. Therefore, the, that which is sought is always accessible. So, Stop seeking. The seeker vanishes. And that which is ever present shines in and of itself and is manifested. Always. In every situation in which there is 
the need for the alleviation of suffering or the recognition of unity, the recognition of that oneness and to simply be. And to smile. Why wait to smile? <laughs> Why wait to laugh? Why wait for something to be funny to laugh? Just laugh. Why wait to be happy to smile? Just smile. Smile for no reason whatsoever. Because there is joy. There is joy. And why wait to experience joy when it's ever present as well? Again, if time is, if one needs to enter time to be joyous, that's what the mind wants it because the mind again it feeds in time and the timeless there is joy there's always beauty within the timelessness there is always understanding within the timelessness there is always truth truth is infinite truth is of the nature of the infinite. And it's accessible. All is happening spontaneously and simultaneously in an impersonal nature. Life is impersonal. And there is that which is before life, that holds the space for life, that holds the space for light, so that light can give life. And it's that infinite awareness, that infinite consciousness, that infinite emptiness, that is our true identity. It makes for everything to be spontaneous. Because it is spontaneous. By nature, it's spontaneous. It, it, it expands spontaneously. Ever renewing itself from the nothingness into the somethingness back into the nothingness annihilation construction annihilation and the healing is access to stillness And the silence beyond silence. The silence that reveals the unnameable. That without shape. That without form. That without color that without human interpretation, that which is without doubt, that which is without a temporary philosophy, that is, that which is in and of itself beingness, it simply is. simply is itself. Mm. 
being. Being one. Consciousness. Again, this is a sacred space for peace, love, and compassion. A place to alleviate suffering and to offer wisdom and truth. For any impersonal inquiry. Simply sitting and being that which is. As an offering. as an offering. Without expectation or without outcome, seeking a specific outcome. Simply knowing the statement, I am. without anything to follow that simple statement of I am. And then life opens up in the greatest of ways without needing to walk in any specific direction or any specific path or any specific journey. We simply exist and allow life to flow. By simply being. Hmm. By simply being.
how simple it is to be, how easy it is to simply be. Without any how to, without effort, effortless being at one as infinite. whole and perfect and complete as is. Without distance, because it's here. And the here and the now. The infinite here, the infinite now. Again, those who have gathered here, I offer gratitude. Because if, if you are gathered here, something in the words resonate, and there's an understanding. You're standing under the resonance of a frequency that's grand. And our you are a part of that which is. Realizing this peace, realizing this love, and realizing the need for compassion to alleviate the suffering. And for that, I offer gratitude.
take this moment and allow the mind to be set aside. Those thoughts that may arise, let them pass. Let them pass. Be the witness to the passing thoughts. And know that they pass within a mind. And that you are something greater than. Because you are able to perceive that. And the thoughts come from a story, a personal story, contained within the brain and the body, within a collective mind. And there is so much more space. So much more love. So much more peace. Than the mind. The mind is useful. In service to that which is greater than it. The joy, the bliss, the heart, the core of all things, that which is the consciousness, the awareness. And it's experiential. It is experiential. Some may say, well, how do I experience that? That I is still coming from the ego. By its own nature, it's experiential because it is what is created. That I that says, I want to experience that, and it's the ego still speaking. The ego wants to constantly seek for an experience that will satisfy itself and validate itself. Yet experience keeps going timelessly, so therefore the experiential component and nature of consciousness is part of that in infinite awareness, infinite consciousness, infinite emptiness. Experiencing itself, know that, and then the flow of what well, is given as life is harmonious and continuous and known. Because the knowing is an offering. The knowing is a gift. And then th therein lies the joy the beauty, the peace, the love. And in an offering to the that which is a knowing of this, 
there is compassion, the realization of essence. The shedding away of the story, the shedding away of that which veils and clouds and covers, that which is true. Truth is that which is true. Wisdom is that which is wise. Unconditionally loving. Spreading appreciative joy. Always. And being that example. Being that beacon of light. So that others see it and see the light within themselves. That knowing within themselves. That discovery within themselves. Like one candle, lighting another candle, lighting another candle, until all the world is holding one single candle, one single flame together. Lit from all these single candles that understand fire. The ever-burning bush. That is never consumed. Yet burns onward. Through inspiration divine guidance. Again, this is an offering. This is an offering. All that is happening is an offering, an energetic offering 
from infinite emptiness. Consciously aware of itself. And that is said for everyone and everything. Fearlessly. There's a stillness and silence that pervades all things. It is the same as that which is contained by something. Movement is contained by stillness rather than it being an opposite. It is, it is contained in stillness. Stillness allows movement as does noise allow, or as the silence allow for noise. Take into account all the things that are harmonious in order to bring about this Life. All the harmony. All the instruments. The subtlety. That is creating this now. And this here. And allowing all this to be.
How awesome is that? And how beautiful is it? And how loving it must be. And rather than think about it, experience it for yourself. Try it without these words. Without needing these words for encouragement or validation or speculation or any doubt or questioning. Try it and see how it feels inside. For there is the wonder. There is the mystery. There is the unknown. The unnameable. Out of nowhere, the gift is offered. Out of nothing, the gift of everything is offered. Even out of the lies, the truth is offered. Even out of the hatred, love is offered. It all stems from one happening thing. That consciousness, that awareness, given. Given with gratitude and with compassion, as a blessing, as the realization of grace, grace being of the infinite nature of that which is. that which is sacred, holy, whole, and to this gathering I welcome thee, the sacred space of peace, inner peace, unconditional love, and infinite compassion. Because love's compassion is infinite, love knows no other thing other than to be infinitely compassionate. There is no other function other than to be that which it is already, all, always. Timelessly. Timeless. Timeless compassion. Timeless love. Timeless peace. Ever present and always accessible. Unified in this inner being oneness. Fearless, doubtless, substantial, perfect, whole, given, gifted, 
join appreciative beautiful One can always know that there is inner peace. One can always know unconditional love. One always knows compassion. This life is of service. Spontaneous service. Whoever, wherever, whenever there is the need for compassion, I am of service. If these words touch your heart, and as this is posted, pay it forward as they share through this medium, technological medium. Let them know that there is peace. Let them know there is love. Let them know there is compassion. Know that you are that light. You are the same light that is that shined within anyone that you may choose to worship because there is only one light. There is only one now and there is only one here. The same now that is now, in the concept of time, is the same now that was then in the concept of time. Therefore, all the circumstances available then are the same as all the circumstances that are available now. It's the same sun, it's the same love. It's on, it, there being one love, it's the same. There being one whole body in the sense of a timeless body, a collective consciousness that even transcends time. That it, it is a one collective consciousness. How else can we know 
of those that lived 2,000 or 2,500 or 3,000 years ago. How else can we know of them if they were not part of this same collective consciousness? There must be a non-local collective consciousness, that non-local mind of which all thoughts reside. Of which love mixes and moves as itself in which peace reside peace resides as itself. How can a peace be separate from that which is? And then how can it be created from that which is? by its nature peaceful. The infinite is peaceful because of its harmony that it provides and the loving, unconditional, infinite compassion that it offers in service to all things. It serves life so that life can sustain itself. I say thank you. I offer gratitude. Even in saying thank you, that is a separate <laughs> statement. Because there is no you separate from that which is I. It is unified, so perhaps it's more appropriate to say, simply say the word gratitude. With that, be well. <laughs>